right, the Imperial Serial Package Mockup Demo. So, what we need to do is, we've started with a new document, so I'm already up to step three, so we need to create a box. So I'll go over here and pick a box. Oh, there it is. In the Properties panel, we need to set its depth, width, depth, and height to 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 0.2. So we'll go over here and we'll say, points, whoops, let's close this thing here. 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 0 0.2. There it is, our box of cereal is ready to go. Okay, now we need to pick an item called plane. Oh, we need to set its position to 0 0.4. So I'll just go to 0 0.4. Alright, and now we need to go and create a plane. So I'll go and do that. That's very exciting. And uh, we need the plane to be big. So I'm just going to set over here, not scaling it, I'm setting its core size to 100 100. Um, and now we're going to pick a skylight because that's easy, it produces nice results and, you know, whatever. So, pick a skylight. And then we're going to set the skylight's date to 1300, make it a bit later in the afternoon. And that's just to give it a bit of shadow. And we're going to click render. And uh, that's um, our Imperial Serial box. It's not very exciting. Let's keep on going. Now we need to double click on the box item to make it editable. So I just double click on it and now it's an editable mesh. And now we can apply materials. So we're going to say add material, add material. Actually what I'm going to do differently from the, the tutorial there is I'm going to just create a material, one material and we're going to duplicate it. So create one material and we need to create a, uh, an image node. So I'm going to say add node, textures, image. And let me just show you again, I could have done that a different way, which is I can go and click on this, and here I can say textures image, which is a bit faster, and it also links it up. And now what we need to do is we need to load the uh, Imperial Serial uh, front, should we say? So I'll just check that where it looks correct. Yep. So the Imperial Serial front, and uh, I'm, let's leave the specular, let's get rid of the specular actually, and we'll make it slightly reflective. Like a like an actual sort of shiny cardboard box, not very, just a very tiny bit, and we're going to put quite a bit of blur in there, so something like that. So there we are, just a little bit of blur on the serial thing, and I'm going to go pick that polygon and drag that material to it. Okay, and now let's just render that and see if it looks okay. Now let's zoom in a bit. Imperial serial. Here, I notice that the, the background plane is showing there. This is not the, an ideal product shot, we'll get into that later. Um, so let me just do that again. Here we are. Imperial Serial. That yeah, looks pretty good. Um, oops. And now, uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate that texture twice. Let's call that front. So, front. And we need a. We need a side and a top. The only difference between the top and the side is that the top and the side need different pictures. So I'm just going to go over here and Imperial Serial uh, Top and over here and we're going to say Imperial Serial Side. All right. We're going to go over here. It says the top. Click. Side. over here maybe and put the side on there as well. I mean, realistically you'd have different sides, but you know, this will do. And we can just go and do a quick render. And there you have it. There's, there's Imperial Serial in all of its glory. So then there's the plane. So let's go and create a new, new material and we'll call it plane. Um, and what does it tell us to do? It says we want to um, we want to make it uh, black and white, I think. So let's just go and make the specular color black and the diffuse color white. It's like a nice default product shot background and render our imperial serial. And, you know, it's not terrible. So that's your quick and dirty um, product shot. And uh, we'll get into doing a proper product shot later on, uh, probably under lighting or something.